So today we have a problem. Let's show you what it is. This is a late 40s 8 and Ford tractor. And it's not starting. Well, we're going to diagnose this no start symptom on this 8 and Ford tractor. And to get started, I think we are just going to pull the distributor cap and look at the points. Okay, here is the distributor cap. It's located on the right side of the tractor, front of the engine. There's the rotor bug. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. There goes the rotor bug. And we'll put you right in there and see what you can see. No fire. So, I guess we will start by removing the condenser. There's one flathead back in there. And if that doesn't work, we will go ahead and replace the points, although they're not too burnt. And I will get the tools out and we will get started. Okay, we got the points here, condenser here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. One screw right there. Take it out fairly easy. If I had a little bit shorter screwdriver, it might help quite a bit. Ideally, I'd have my tool set with me, but I did not drive that pickup home today. And I'm not too worried about the points because I'm going to be replacing them, I think, anyways. And there is the condenser. Here is the new one. We will see if we can't get him put in. Nine out of 10 times, going to be the condenser that's failed and not the points. Twist that a little bit so it's not hitting the cam off that distributor. Okay, we will watch it again. Whoops, move your distributor cap so you don't smack it with the pan. Might help a little bit.
Still no spark. Okay, well, to replace the points. Right here, there's a bolt to take out. Oh, let me get a light over here for you guys. Right there. Then there's a screw there. Right there. And there's a screw back here. Both flatheads. Good. Pull them off that way. I was having problems with this tractor last year. Just die like you were turning off the key. But it always cranked back up. I started it once this year. And just moved it from one side of the shop to the other. To Just clean up the shop a little bit and shut it off and here she sat, got ready to use it, no fire. One little bolt is being difficult, one little nut. There's the old points. And they're pretty burnt. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But down in there. Let's see. Right there you can see a spot that's burnt pretty bad on them. So we will put new points on. And I just happen to have a set right here. This job can be done with just a pair of pliers and a flathead screwdriver. Don't let anybody tell you different. Not saying it's the easiest way to do it, but it can be done. Whenever you set your bolts down, do not set them down, do not set them down in an oily spot on the floor, because then you might have a hard time seeing them whenever you're ready for them. That's a voice of experience talking. Won't name any names, but it's a voice of experience. I will just fumble around till I get it. There's one. Here's number two, maybe. I'm not Hercule tighten these. I'm just snugging them up for now.
back one more than the front because I can adjust the front just a little bit. I can wiggle that. Okay, put my condenser wire on. Tighten that up just a, one RC8. Now we will see what we got. They are a little bit close. We'll try there. Still just a little bit close. That will probably be too much now, but we will see. That's a lot better. I'm just setting these by aisle. Go get a feeler gauge here in a little bit. And you want to see it spark because I don't have that on yet. Putting hot wire on now. Nut washer. Okay, let's see what happening. Okay. Let's see this happen again. Okay. I'll be right back. Throttle up. I forgot which way is on on this key. On, off, okay. Well, shoot. Okay, let's start over. There is the coil main plug. See if it'll even jump it that far. Nope, not quite that far. Well, I lost fire at my coil too. So, I will go get a test light and be right back. So what I think has happened is my coil has gone bad also. It wasn't like that the other day. So, to remedy this problem, for right now, we will come over here to old Tweety. I know it's dark over here. Good thing I got a flashlight on my phone. Last time I was over here, I walked over here to see if this coil was still here. And I saw through this tail light right there, I saw a tail. Scared the hell out of me. Turned out, there was a cat in there. <laughs> but there's the new coil. Well. I just barely put it on this one. 
I will get it pulled and be right back. And there she is. We will go back over and start putting it on. We gotta take the other one off first, you know. We were about to have a hailstorm, so we moved vehicles inside the shop. Ooh, let's get you all set right down where you're not gonna fall too easy. Okay. Looks like a half. But instead of doing that, I think there's a flathead right here. I'll pull that flathead out and that way I can just pull the coil straight up. It might have enough room, I don't, well maybe not. I'll go get a half and we'll just go ahead and drop that thing. Okay. Get this coil out of the way. I don't want it to fall. Ooh, that coil is pretty darn hot. Thicker flat. Who knows how long this thing was. Been on there. Maybe get my screwdriver, go a few more turns, see if we can't get it to come loose. the bolt. Take that out from there. Oh, it has a nut on the back side and it was spinning.
Okay, there's all the bits of the coil. There goes a washer. Let's go over here to the vise. Okay, just wanted to make sure that was right. This coil will just indefinitely stay with this tractor till it goes out. And I will get another one for Tweety. Okay. Well, while I'm here, might as well go ahead and put this back on. You know, this was the way I got this tractor. It's not right, but it works. I will be doing plugs and an oil change on it. I'm sure you guys will be around to see that. Here's the pliers, get it just a little snuggy. Tiny snuggy. And now you guys are down in the dirt. Didn't realize my camera was that close to my elbow.
hope you guys enjoyed this how-to video of the condenser points and the coilium. And as you can see, the tractor now runs. And Let's see what happens. Mission on. Fire in the hole. We got fire. Now all I gotta do, throw my rotor bug back on. I will tighten all this up here in a minute. I'll just show you guys that this thing will start after. Okay, my positive wire for my coil. Hopefully it'll work. They're not very long. Fire in the hole. In neutral. That's simple.